Now, 5 times minus 1 is 5, is minus 5, plus 3, give us minus 2. That, that means we are having 3, that, because we are having 3. Uh, since we had 3, our answer will be 3. Then, 0 minus 3 is minus 3. What are we going to add to the multiple of 5 that will give us minus 5 to get minus 3? What we are going to add is 2. That is, minus 5 plus 2 will give us minus 3. Then, 0 minus 4 is minus 4. 5 times minus 1 is minus 5 plus 1 will give us minus 4. Here, 1 minus 0 is 1. That is positive. The number is positive. It's still uh, not up to 5. So, we'll take it. Any positive number, we'll write it like that once it is not up to 5. So, we have 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Not yet up to 5. 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. It's not yet a negative number. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. Now, we have to, we have to do some calculation. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So what we are going to do is just that. We are going to add, is the number that we are going to add to the multiples of 5 that we are going to write. Mind you, we are working with minus 1. 5 times minus 1 is minus 5. So what, we, what are we going to add to minus 5 to get minus 1? We are going to add 4. If you add 4 to minus 5, we are going to get minus 1. 1 minus 3 is minus 2. If you add 3 to e to minus 5, we we'll get minus 2. And then 1 minus 4 is minus 3. What are we going to add to, to the multiples of 5 to get minus 3? Abi? Yes. That's a 2. Because 5 minus 5 plus 2 will give us minus 3. Yes. Now, 1 minus 4 is minus 3. What are we going to add to the multiples of 5 to get a minus 3? That's multiples of 5 will be 5 times to minus 1, that's minus 5. Mind you, what we are going driving at is minus 3. 5 minus 5 plus 2 will give us minus 3. Now, we don't go to this one. We are now on 2. 2 minus 0 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 minus 2 is 0. Now, 2 minus 3 is minus 1, a negative number. Then we'll do some calculation. 5 times minus 1 is minus 5. What are we going to add to minus 5 to get minus 1? That's 4. We add 4 to minus 5 to get minus 1. 2 minus 4 is minus 2. We draw another calculation. 2 minus 4 is minus 2. Minus 5 plus 3 to give us minus 2. Then 3 minus 0 is 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. 3 minus 3 is 0. 3 minus 4 is minus 1. Minus 1 is a negative value. And then we are going to do some calculation. That's 3. Uh, 3 minus 4 is minus 1. That will be 5 times minus 1. That's minus 5. And what are we going to have to get a minus 1? That means we are going to have 4. Minus 5 plus 4 is minus 1. And that's the minus 1 that we are interested in. 3 minus 4 is minus 1. And what we are going to have to the multiples of uh, multiples of 5 to get a minus 1 is 4. 4 minus 0, 4 minus 0 is 4, 4 minus 1 is 3, 4 minus 2 is 2, 4 minus 3 is 1, 
4 minus 4 is 7. With that, we've completed the filling of the table. Example number 9. Reduce 35 to its simplest form in module 3 and also in module 5. What we are concerned with is 35 and we are to reduce that to module 3 and then to module 5. Module 3, module 3, module 3 and then module we should reduce 35 to its simplest form. Now, what we just do is just 35 divided by 3 huh, is equal to 11. That's 3, 3 times 11 is what? That's 33. 35 minus 3, 35 minus 33 is 2. Remainder. Two, hmm? which is equal to two, uh, two modulo, two modulo three. That is, we can therefore say that our thirty-five is equal to two modulo three. Now our b thirty-five. You can easily say that if you are to reduce 35 to modulo 5, to the simplest form in modulo 5, that would be 35 divided by 5, which is equal to 7 remainder 0. Therefore, we can now say that 35 is equal to 0 modulo 5 which is our final answer. Number 10. Find the simplest positive form of the following in a given module. Um, we have A, that's minus 5 modulo 6. We have to find the um, simplest positive form of this. And then we have B, which is minus 17 modulo 10. For this 5, we have to solve this, we have minus 5. Now, it's just like the subtraction we did the other time. That will be equal to that's modulo 6. What we are working in is modulo 6. We have to find a positive form. That is, multiples of 6, what are we going to have to multiples of 6 to get this minus 5? Which is equal to 6 times minus 1 Hmm? 6 times minus 1 is minus 6. What are we going to have to minus 6 to get a minus 5? That's 1 plus 1. This simply means 1 minus 5 minus 5 is equal to 1 modulo 6. Now for the B part, that will be minus 17. Minus 17 modulo 10 is equal to, that will be multiples of 10 uh, times minus 2. What are we going to add to multiples of 10? That is 10 times minus 2 is minus 20. What are we going to add to minus 20 to get a minus 17? That's 3. If we had 2, that would be minus 18. If we had 4, that would be minus 16. But what we are interested is in is this minus 17. So what we are going to add to the multiples of 10 is 3. Because 20 minus 20 plus 3 is 17. It's minus 17. So our answer, we can therefore say that minus 17 is equal to 3 modulo 10. If you follow these principles, you get your answers naturally.
example number 11 now well, we are through with addition we are through with subtraction now we are going to multiplication example number 11 evaluate the following in a given module we have a a that's about 16 times 7 modulo 16 times 7 this is a symbol for multiplication in modulo modulo, modulo arithmetic modulo that's modulo 5 then we have b that's um, 31 times 15 modulo 7 c that's um, 21 times 18 modulo 10 then d that's uh, 8 times 27 modulo 3 now for a we'll be using two methods and they will now choose the best method to use that will be 16 times that's times 7 modulo 5 which is equal to 16 times 7 is 1 1 2 hmm? which is equal to 1 1 2 is uh, 22 22 times 5 22 times 5 is, one, is 110 1 and 12 minus 1 and 10 is 2 so you can therefore say that 16 times 7 is equal to 2 modulo 5. We can try another method. 